If you gain a guard pass from Carlos Sleeve, if you're not sweeping from Carlos Sleeve, and if you're not submitting from, from Carlos Sleeve, that means you're not following the requirement of these fi five keys for this uh, Carlos Sleeve control. I'm gonna show you guys five details that are gonna change your game, okay? I'm gonna show you guys grip control, I'm gonna show you guys hip movements, I'm gonna show you guys distance management, and I'm gonna show you guys post control and guard retention from Carlos Sleeve. If you don't know me, my name is Mark Tinoco, Marcelo Garcia, Black Belt, Big Us. If you'd like to get 10% off on a purchase at Hyperfly, please use my coupon TinocoFly24. I'm gonna link, I'm gonna put the link around the scripts of this video. So thank you so much. Let's start on, on the color sleeve control, and I'm gonna show you guys what you guys maybe mess it up, okay? So focus on the five keys. So number one, grips, okay? So let's come here, Matt. We're on a five control here. So you can stand up for a second. Yeah, move this way. You cannot go shallow grip. Okay, push it up for a second. Grips. I cannot hold too shallow, okay? And also I cannot extend my arm. So push it up higher. I cannot play collars live like this, okay? So how are we gonna do this? I want my arm a little bit, I want my hands down, arms between my knees and collar. I will say like a little bit above the collarbone right there, okay? So this way you have a good control. Now Matt's gonna keep the elbows tight, and now here I am with the proper collar control, okay? Now foot on the hip as a manage, okay? So just manage right here. So that's what those grips that you need, okay? Number two things that people might do and they mess it up and they get the guard pass not following the the hip movements okay so number two hip movement so for example my hip movement i can go post on a balance on the biceps if matt go that way keep going keep going i cannot freeze okay so that's why it gets you behind let's go back i want to go if matt whatever matt goes i'm gonna step on it move he might go the other way i move so hip management is very important hip movements you have to be mobile, okay? And also, don't overdo, don't push too much. Look how my arm and legs are tight, okay? So make sure you keep tight. Elbows in and keep right here. If Matt bring the elbows in, so keep the elbows in, Matt, and start moving around, I just maintain and keep right there. Whenever he stop, I extend it, push the arm out, and then I can go for the triangle, but make sure your hip movement have to be you don't move if the person doesn't move, okay? Now, number three, distance management, okay? I don't wanna push Matt too far out. So for example, if Matt is here, I don't wanna push him out, otherwise he's just gonna circle to, yeah, circle, and then I lose it, okay? So the distance management is gonna be basically, move this way, Matt, with my arms and leg bent the whole time, here, and keep connected. Okay, distance management. If you start pushing my leg in, I cannot let this happen. I can go back to the shallow lasso, push him out, reset, but never overdo your push. Okay, otherwise you're gonna just you're gonna just gonna push. So distance management is where you find a nice and tight collar grip control, foot on the hip, and then you can if you circle foot, I go here. Now keep nice and tight. Everything's tight right here. Keep in mind, every attack I'm gonna do against Matt start from the inside of my knees. If Matt's arm is outside and I start pushing, it's gonna be hard. So make sure the arm is always inside. I want him fight between my legs, okay? And then, for number four, control the posture, okay? So if Matt is low, get your knees, Matt. Make sure you get good posture control. So start bringing your head up. Now this grip higher, you always go. If it stands up, you can get, move around a little bit, man. You can get this grip higher and pull Matt down. So the higher this grip go, better to control the posture, okay? So grip higher. So now if Matt circle the foot, circle the hands, I circle my foot in. If Matt try to push up, he won't because I'm controlling this, okay? If I control shallow, push up. Now it's hard, okay? So I have to change. So make sure you walk your hands and control the posture by high collar. And then you can go arm on your pocket. You can go for the uh, omoplata set up. And then 
basically that's how it works okay and the final one number five is the is the guard retention you cannot freeze okay so how i can do the guard retention using shallow lasso from here if it stays there i'm playing guard but if matt start getting ahead of the game so start circling my foot and i'll put my foot inside of it legs yes from here matt's gonna start doing for a knee cut pass push that way the foot that was on the hip i'm gonna start losing so from here i want to do a stiff arm bring the shallow lasso you can throw here, you can bring your knee to your chest, bring your heels in, and now look, I'm gonna push Matt away, he's gonna reset his position, feet on the hip, and go back, okay? Every time he tuck my foot under, he start moving away, I keep the lasso, okay? Keep the shallow lasso, foot on the hip, and now look how my hip goes back in the center line, and then here I am. So I can retain my foot on the bicep, circle foot, Matt. I keep going here, and if he keeps stuff the foot under, right away, don't, he start moving. Stiff arm, use your leg on a shallow. Turn around, man. So here, okay, push, go back, and then from here, I can go, De La Riva hook, I can start push mat down, and then from here, I can go all the way around, back to sweep, okay? But basically, there's not much you can do besides keep your hip mobile. Call it control. Hit, stand up. If you stuff your leg, right there, shallow. Don't wait, okay? It's going to be very difficult for you to recover guard when you stuff the leg. Start knee cut pass. If you get to this far, it's going to be super hard. Now, to recover guard from here, the call's not going to do much. The, call, the sleeve control, you're going to be out. Now, from here, Matt's going to stand up. Now, reset, foot, there, here I am, okay? So that's basically, you have to be on top of that. Don't let the person get far ahead so to chase them, okay? So, and if it goes from here, now don't pause. You can bring the foot, the shallow lasso, you can put deep lasso, okay? You can go omoplata, right? If you guys wanted to see more attacks like a omoplata, shallow lasso, sw lasso sweep, just comment and we go over from there, okay? But from here, I wanna keep tight. Keep, make sure that if I have the collar sleeve, if you stuff the foot, make sure if you start cutting, push. If you get that far, be out, reset, here, there. And then move this way. And then from here, make sure De, De La Riva hook, push. Now this one goes on the mat and I use this guy to push. Move this way a little bit. I want to tuck the hands under and push Matt down. If you don't like to scramble, not a problem. Let go of the collar, go for the ankle, come up, and that's basically it, okay? So five keys, uh, keys element for collar sleeve. It's basically focus on the grip, high grip, don't get shallow grip. Focus on hip movement, don't get stuck when the person moving around. Number three, distance management. Don't over push the person, okay? Um, number four is going to be partial control. Don't extend arm, pull the person down, get behind the knee. The, the, the partial control is a very important point for you guys. And the last one, number five, guard retention. The guard retention doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure that the person never pass the bottom line. Okay, so five key elements for you guys to elevate your collar sleeve. So if you're having a hard time from collar sleeve, I'm 100% pos uh, 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 positive that you're not following those five requirements from Carlos Lee. So give it a try and let me know in the comments how you like it. Thank you so much. Big O's. If this video is helpful for you, please make sure to subscribe and share the channel. Big O's.